um, so I'm actually on the cell network just for extra effect. That's not by choice. Um, so what you can see here is that if I pinch and zoom, you'll see a very smooth scaling of the map and very smooth scaling of the labels uh, because we're dynamically rendering the tiles on the phone. Um, and it gives you a much smoother experience, much more fluid, feels much nicer. And one of the really cool features on this is that if I use a multi-touch gesture to basically drag the map like this, <coughs> I then get a 3D perspective. Um, and I can make another gesture like this to twist the map around and basically orient it into the perspective that I want to see. And so what we're doing is we're doing something that we refer to as vector maps. So instead of downloading tiles that are part of, of the map that you're seeing, we're actually downloading vector-based information, which means we can actually smoothly pan and zoom without having loading. So you probably have the experience of sitting there on Maps for Mobile and there's a gray spot on your screen, you're waiting for it to load, it's the piece that you need, it hasn't come down. What we're doing now it actually allows us to load this up front. So let's go ahead and look at a specific building. Let's try the Empire State. Okay, I'm feeling brave, so I'm gonna try speech recognition. Let's see how this works out. Empire State Building. So now what's happening is we're streaming the audio to our servers, to our data centers, it does speech recognition analysis, returns the results. It's a lot faster than typing. Um, so my, my favorite feature of this version of Maps is the fact that it's got 3D building support. So we actually have building information, geometric building information for over 100 cities worldwide. So as I zoom in on the Empire State Building, what will happen is the buildings, not just the Empire State Building, but all the buildings around it will animate into position like so. And then again, if I do the gesture that I did earlier to pan the map to a 3D perspective, you can now see the Empire State Building. Out of the this is just the Maps app? This, this is the Maps, maps app, app on Android. This is, the, <laughs> this is the new hotness in Maps. So two more things I want to show you. So again, uh, if I use that twist gesture, I can now do a 3D tower. panorama <laughs> of the Maps. <laughs> It works in Paris, but we don't have the 3D buildings yet in Paris. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, so it's a canned demo. No. It, it's only no, 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 we actually have 100 cities. Unfortunately, Paris is, is not, not even the Eiffel Tower. I know, I know, I know, mean, it's killing us too. <laughs> it's, it's on its way. I have, I have one more feature I really want to show you. So, um, so what you saw, I was like panning around the Empire State Building here. So if we bring the phone back up, right? So I can orient it, find the nicest perspective. But you don't have to do it manually because this device has a magnetometer, a compass built in. So if I turn on compass mode. Mode, what will happen now is the device will animate uh, and turn, change the perspective depending on the way that I'm looking, like so. So this is a really cool feature when you come out of a subway and you're lost. Now, which way am I going? I, when you're done, I have a question. Okay. <laughs> sure. So that, we're, we're actually finished with that, that part of the feature. So I mean, so this is the, the overall compass piece. But we should talk about the other feature, which is offline reliability. So because vector offline, maps... Offline what? Offline reliability. Okay. And so, not offline Gmail, which would be. <laughs> not offline Gmail, but offline reliability. <laughs> so, one of the cool things about Vector Maps is we're, about, we're downloading, in each case, about 1 100th as much data as we used to, which means we can actually do things like 3D buildings, allow you to pan and zoom smoothly, but also means we can store more information on the phone, which means that if you don't have a connection right then, uh, you actually may be able to continue to use Google Maps because we'll have the information cache for you for the places you go frequently. So Dave, let's go ahead and do a demo okay, of so offline level. So two ways to go offline. I can either go into airplane mode or connect to Wi-Fi. So I'll actually connect to airplane mode. Um, so uh, now what you see is I have no connection. Um, <laughs> and I have uh, an airplane symbol here at the top. Um, and so uh, what you'll notice is that everything is still working exactly as before. Uh, and what's actually happened here is that we've intelligently prefetched the map information. And by intelligent, I basically mean that we've looked at the positions that you frequent most. For most people, that's like work and home. Um, and we've, we've pulled that data down on the client side. And so it means that when you start up the app, it's instantaneous and the tiles are just immediately there, but also if you have no network or flaky network, uh, they'll also appear for you. So like for example, in your case, like you spent time in Seattle, in San Francisco, and now you're in Paris, so we would have the city maps for those cities already downloaded on your phone, especially in the locations in those cities that you tend to be in. So I think it's pretty interesting when you think about, you know, we actually a lot, spend a lot of our time taking the infrastructure and getting ready for bigger and bigger data. 